basic operation, a few tips, seeing live metrics in capture mode, showing numbers on the screen. To see live numbers for the 3D data on your screen when you're in capture mode, press the M key on your computer keyboard. Please note, after calibrating, the pelvis bend number will be 10. This is because the default pelvis offset is 10 degrees. The numbers for all the other metrics will be zero. The pelvis offset. The default pelvis offset is 10 degrees. Unless you're a trained medical professional, we highly recommend you do not change the pelvis offset. If you want to change it, you can do so on the player profile page. Changing timers to give yourself more or less time. There are timers to enable you to delay actions in the software. You can set timers to give yourself more time to calibrate, capture if in manual mode, set live for guides in the training mode, and also the amount of time the dialog box stays on the screen after you capture a swing. All you do to set them is press the menu button in the upper left-hand corner of a screen. Click the timer options button. Select the number of seconds you want the system to wait for you to perform an activity. Save your changes. Operate as usual. When working with a player, you'll likely want the timers set to zero for calibrate, capture, and set live. You may want the auto cap dialog at a longer interval if you want to see the reports for a swing before capturing a next swing. The pop-up box after swing capture, seeing reports and graphs in capture mode. If you're using K-Coach without tiles, the auto cap dialog box pops up after every swing. This box allows you to select reports and graphs to look at for the previous swing without leaving capture mode. You can set the amount of time this box stays on the screen before the next swing is ready to auto capture. If you want to capture swings and not look at a report after every swing, make sure the auto cap dialog time is set to zero. What to do if you have sensor drift? At the bottom of every screen is a slider labeled K-Coach. Click on this slider and you'll see a button labeled Drift Fix. If one of your sensors is drifting, click on the blue Drift Fix button and follow the instructions. How do you see data for lots of swings at once? The multi-swing report. To find the data for as many swings as you want for one player at one time in a spreadsheet, navigate to the Client Manager page. Load the player profile for the player whose swings you want to see. Make sure you're in the mode Golf or Golf Lead Wrist where the data is stored. Click the Multi-Swing Report button. This will launch the Multi-Swing Report. How do I see Previous Evaluation Reports? Finding Previous Evaluations To find all the previous evaluations you have for a player, navigate to the Client Manager page. Load the player profile for the player whose swings you want to see. Make sure you're in the mode Golf or Golf Lead Wrist where the data is stored. Click the Evaluation Report button. This will launch the Evaluation Report. At the top of the screen, in the middle of the page, you'll see a date and arrow. The date is the date of the last evaluation report captured for this player. Click on a date and the evaluation report for that date appears on the screen.